if you want to learn how to create a pattern like this or like this on an object, stick around because that's what we're going to be doing today. Hey, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to jump right in to a new tab. I'm going to be talking about how to add a pattern. For this next pod, I'm going to be doing a chevron pattern, but it really doesn't matter what pattern you want to do. If you follow these steps, it should be really, really simple for you to do. Jumping right in, we are going to create a new sketch on this front plane, and I'm going to design my the start of my chevron pattern. And in order to do that, I need to just create a really, really simple sketch. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to try to come out about 15 and that should give me an idea of where I need to go. Maybe somewhere right there. And then by making some 90 degree angles at eight, and maybe we'll go down to six. At six, uh, coming back to our center with the 90 and then up and then I've got part of this chevron I'm going to duplicate that across the other side um, again coming out 15 down six and then back to our center here. So there I've got my basic chevron pattern. The next step is to do a simple copy and paste of this chevron pattern here. So by selecting both parts with paste, we can pull this up and I am going to set this somewhere right here. Uh, we're up 10 millimeters. Uh, maybe that actually looks pretty good. We're going to start, keep it right there and say, okay. So now that I've got these created, I'm going to do a really, really simple pattern and just push them up. So come over and do a rectangular pattern. And I know that I want this to be, uh, I'm making a, a five inch pot. So I'm going to take this somewhere up around 125, 120 seven inches, maybe we'll go 127. Okay, so now we're up to the height we need. We just need to now fill it in and see where these gaps start to get too tight, if they're too loose. See, I'm getting them a little bit too tight here. So if I wanna clean that up a little bit, the easiest way to do that is just to increase our distance a little bit. Still a little bit too tight. Um, 35, we're getting closer, 38, getting a little bit closer, and maybe we'll do 39. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now I've got my pattern here. Say okay. And we are done with our first sketch, so we can finish the sketch. I'm now going to select all of this, and we're going to do a simple extrude and pull this about I don't know, it doesn't really matter, 30 millimeters. And that's the first step to our pattern. Say, okay, so now we've got a pattern here and we need to cut out of this pattern and, and make this actually usable for us. So we're gonna go to the top of our sketch and we are going to create a two point circle. And so select our top or our plane here. So now we're gonna be down on the bottom and we are gonna go create circle, two point circle. And I wanna click somewhere here in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure you're on this middle line. That's about the most important thing. And then I'm gonna come out a set distance. Now you need to remember this distance for later, but for me, I'm gonna come out 125 and click. So now I've got this. And the next step is a simple offset. And we're gonna set this off about five millimeters, which gives us plenty of room for to kind of play around as we're pushing it off the object. Say, okay, we're gonna finish this sketch and come down and just do a very, very simple 
extrude again. But this time, instead of a new body, we're going to do the intersect. I only want where these intersect. This is going to give us the outside circle of our pattern. And it looks like I need to come down a little bit as well just to get that bottom piece. There we go. And say, okay. So now that I've got my pattern, I actually need to do one of two things. I can try really hard to revolve this, or I can get this right on uh, our XY plane over here. Let's see if we can get these popped out. So I can get it right on our Z plane, right in the middle of it. And that's gonna make it easier, or I could try to fidget. So for me, I'm gonna move this and try to get it right on that. I'm gonna go simple move, look down on the top of this, turn our origins back on. And I should be able to move this. And I'm trying to get this as close to right in the center as humanly possible. Um, air towards being on the inside a little bit, if you can. So somewhere right there looks pretty good. Say, OK. Now that I've got that where I need it, I need to determine, OK, this is the center of my object. And I need to determine, I already know I'm going to push this out 125 millimeters or I want to make the diameter of my circle 125 millimeters. So I need to do one more move. So the first move is to get you to the center. The second move makes it easier to do math for us. And so I'm going to pull this down to 62.5 by just dividing the number that I'm looking for, which was 125 in half, that's what we get and say, okay. Uh, the next step, do we're going to create a circular pattern around our Z axis. And it's easy and best if we come up to the top really quick to figure out how many faces that we're going to need to, how many times we need to duplicate this. And for you, it may be a few more just depending on what the what the shape is that you're trying to get and you're going to see i actually have a little bit of overlap in here uh, looks okay i may want to try to bump that up one more as we're trying to get closer into here let's see where we're at with that one this looks pretty good. You can kind of see what the pattern starts to look like. There is a touch of an overlap here. Um, when you get that, it's not going to like your pattern very much. So I'm going to drop this down, back down to 11. And I'm going to go with that and say, okay. So now I've got a really, really simple pattern here. And if I wanted to fix this and try to get these perfect, I would have need to go back to the sketch and actually take my initial chevron and square these up. The fact that they're they're extending outside of this line here makes it to where I can't push them all the way together. So kind of keep that in mind as you're designing. I didn't want these to come together. I have designs where I did make them come together, like this one where everything comes together really nicely. But for this particular pattern, I want there to be a nice gap in here. Okay, the next couple steps are pretty simple. Uh, we just need to do some sketches. So I'm going to add in a sketch. I'm going to come over to the top, grab this, and I need to do a center point circle, and I'm going to pull it all the way out until I get some overlap. And I don't need very much overlap. I just need a little bit. So somewhere in there. And say finish sketch. Now that I've got my sketch finished, I'm going to, going to be grabbing that sketch and doing a very, very simple join, which will give me one body to work with. Okay, somewhere in there, I just need to get this right above and say join. That'll work right there. Okay, so now I have one body. That body has the pattern on it. The hard part is over with. Now we just need to determine how to uh, kind of cut this and where to clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to jump over here to my front and do a sketch. And I need to cut the bottom and the top off of this pot just a little bit here to get it to the right size. So I'm going to do a really simple sketch and grab right there in the middle on this plane here and do two sketches. So the bottom one, um, we need to click off, come up to the very, very bottom of our pot and create that. And then here at the top, I know 
right now this pot is 165. I need to get this down to uh, about 125 to make this the shape that I'm looking for. So we're going to close this and we're going to take 40 off the top. Uh, so we'll kind of figure out where we're at here. Uh, I like to go about one above just to make sure these things don't have to be perfect. Uh, tab, we're going to come down to 40 and select. And you can see I'm going to kind of cut into some stuff a little funny. So you need to decide with your pattern, where do you want that to go to? Uh, maybe we go to 42 or 43. 43 looks like it's pretty good. It goes through the middle. Well, maybe we'll go back to 42. And these are the things that you need to play around with and figure out for yourself. And say enter and finish this sketch. And hold shift. And again, we're going to do another simple extrude. And we're going to make these symmetrical so I don't have to pull it twice, even though I don't need it to be that much. And say, okay. Now I'm going to look and see what we have here. The bottom looks pretty good. I don't love the top. Um, I don't really like it at all. So I want to move that. I'm going to actually make this a little bit taller. So I'm going to go back to our sketch and edit that. Grab this line. And I want to move this up a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe maybe somewhere let's be zoom in a little bit uh, we're gonna go 3.5 see where that puts us that's about where we want to go say okay finish that sketch jump out of the end okay now we've got these chevrons coming to the top uh looks a little bit better still not perfect and this is where patterning comes. You have to figure out what you want to do and how you want it to be. But I am, I'm okay with this. It's going to be kind of interesting on top. I like it. So the last step is to clean this up and to clean this up. I need to go and add a, a couple sketches to the top. Now the first sketch is going to be a center point circle and Trying to get that to snap in there. There we go. And I'm going to pull this right to the edge, right there. And I need to do a two millimeter offset to the inside. Uh, and maybe we'll go 2.5 just to give us a little more room for printing this. We're already going to have to take our time in printing this. I don't have to be as precise as I normally am. We're trying to match up the walls and the thickness in here. So I'll say, okay. So here is going to be the shell of our wall. And now I need to cut this off because if I don't, I'm going to run into some issues with overhangs and have to use support. And we don't want to do that. So the next one is I'm going to grab this and I'm going to do another offset. And I'm going to do this at 1.5 millimeters. I've found that I can get away with 1.5. If you really are nervous, you can drop it down to one. Maybe we'll drop it down to one for this and say, okay. And then I'm going to add in one more center point sketch and I just have to make this bigger than the whole object itself which is really nice so we're going to finish that sketch and we did a lot of lines there um, just to try to make this work for us first step we're going to cut off this excess around the outside and just pull down with a very very simple extrude Uh, and you're going to notice, oh no, I missed something because I did. I need to grab every single one of these here if I want this to work. So hang tight while I grab all these. Okay, so hit OK. And now we've tightened up our overhangs. Looks pretty good. And this is actually, this looks pretty good. I'm okay with this. And now we are going to turn on that last sketch we did because I need to be able to see this inside here. We're going to do one more to shell out the inside. And usually what I'd like to do is I'm going to pull this down to the bottom, which should be about 127 and a half, and then come up to 
about 125. So a mil, or that gives us about two and a half millimeters and say, okay. And so now our bottom should match our top. Turn that sketch up. And there we go. Now I've added a nice design to this pot. I think it looks pretty good. Definitely something that you can take and modify. Again, I've used the same principles for this smiley face pot, a cross pattern, as well as this honeycomb pot that I designed. I have found that these geometric shapes do a lot better when you're trying to put them together. The most difficult part is setting this up because this center line you have to manage and keep it really clean as you're building it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, thank you for sticking around to the end. Hopefully we'll see you on our next video. See ya.